Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. Conducting geotechnical inspections and generating reports is commonplace practice among geotechs. Um, so reports help to record site and earth conditions, ground conditions, uh, and pass on recommendations on how works can proceed safely. So in this video, we're gonna look at how you can set up, organize, and track your geotechnical inspections and reports with Dash Pivot. And you'll see that we've already gone ahead and set up a template inside of Dash Pivot. This one's called a Geotech Site Investigation Report. Uh, and you'll see that no forms have been created just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new report by clicking this button up here. And you'll see that this template has already been set up. We've got a series of fields which we can start to fill out. Maybe this inspection was done at nine o'clock in the morning. It's in zone one. Uh, the contractor is XYZ contracting and so on. We can go and fill out all of these fields. Um, in this case, we've got a table set up and we've got a section for adding photos. So if we're filling this out using the app and we're on site, um, we can open up the Dash Pivot app, click add photos. Um, it'll open up the camera. You can then take a photo using your phone, um, add any comments, add any descriptions. You can tag it um, as you normally would using the Dash Pivot app. And then once you're happy with that, click save and it will be added to this particular form. And the same goes with uh, any PDF attachments or drawings. If, if they've been added, when you're filling it out using the mobile app, again, you're able to click on it and open it up. And you can then start to add some annotations or red line mark it up, um, add any, I guess, additional detail that's required on you know, a PDF drawing. And then you can save that and that will be added to this particular form. So you can go ahead and, and fill out this, this whole form. Maybe we sign it at the bottom and it stamps our signature with our name um, and the time and date. And then once we're happy with everything, we can hit save and we've got that form now sitting here inside of Dash Pivot. So one thing that I should mention about the Dash Pivot app is that you have the ability to fill out these forms uh, while offline. So if, you know, if you're a geotech and you're filling out a form, you're underground, you're in a tunnel, or you're in a remote area where you don't have a Wi-Fi connection or you don't have a cellular mobile connection, um, you can still open up the app and fill out these forms as required. Um, and then when you return to the surface and you regain uh, connectivity, it will just sync in the background of the app um, so that the rest of your colleagues inside of this team, in this case, can come in and access um, the, the forms. It's, it's all done in the background. And then once you've got that there, it's very easy to just open it up and you know download it if you need to. You can download it as a PDF or you can send it to somebody. So you can click this button, enter in their email address. They're gonna receive an email with a PDF version of this form, which has been filled out. Uh, it's very easy to do. And then over time, you'll probably end up with something that looks a little more like this, where you have multiple forms stored in the uh, what we call the timeline view, where it's broken down day by day or week by week. And it's very easy to convert all of this information um, to a register. So we can just toggle across from timeline to register and it spits out uh, something very similar to uh, what you might be familiar with using uh, in Excel or some similar program. Um, and all it's doing is it's taking all of the fields that we've filled out and converted them to columns. And that's what you see here. Um, and we can customize this uh, register. We can click edit columns and, and change the different uh, fields that we want to display, turn them on and off and, and things of that nature and configure this how we want so that we can see all of the information that's uh, relevant. Um, and then we can apply some filters. If, you know, if we've got uh, 100 records in here, maybe we want to look at all of the inspections that were recorded in zone one. We can apply a filter and pull up all of those records straight away. In this case, we've only got the one record, um, but if you had multiple records, those would all appear here. And then one of the great things is that if we need to export all of this information, it's very easy. We just make a selection over here, and then the options appear at the top. So if we need to export it as a CSV because we want to open it in Excel, we can do that. Uh, but we can also export this register as a PDF, and we can download the forms themselves uh, as PDFs as well. That's all, that's all possible in here. If you want to get started with uh, a geotechnical inspection or report template, we do have some available for free. So if you go to the template section, click on add new template, and then click this 
choose from free public template library option. If you click on that and search for geotechnical inspection uh, or click on the geotech uh, template tag, you should be able to access our free range of templates um, that are in there. Um, and feel free to check out our, our other templates as well across uh, environment, safety, quality, commercial, survey, etc. Um, there's a whole bunch of templates in there that are ready to go, so feel free to have a look at that. Um, and that's really how you can organize and track your geotechnical inspections and reports with Dash Pivot.